So for this week's trades of the week, uh, for starting the 24th of February, a bit of a run through of a few of the markets. Actually, very quiet on the new trade front uh, over the last week or so. So really have a recap of some of the trades we're in uh, and what's happened to some of those. So uh, originally starting off with uh, buy back from the... 7th of February, uh, so just a couple of weeks ago, uh, market moving on very nicely to that target zone. Now, this is a trade with the trends, looking for a bigger target. But you can see the snipe, you can see the clear change in colours from red to green, and there's that buy up to uh, that pretty reasonable resistance level here that we were looking for. Top of the price envelope is not much further uh, and actually really looking for new highs. So I think it's better to push for this level at this uh, previous resistance level around this sort of 68.40. We hit it on Friday and the market just um, holding steady uh, from there. Really nice move uh, taking it 68.40 there. Uh, then that is a profit of about 240 points there. So really, really nice move on the FTSE. Um, looking through to the S&Ps now. Weird uh, sort of sniper on this chart, but certainly that buy is here uh, back from again the 7th of February there and a nice move higher again with the trend uh, moving up to a couple of pivot points again there. Uh, again, taking profits on that one already as market moved to that sort of 1844 area there. Uh, so profit of just under 500 points on this trade. Really nice move. Uh, and with the longer term trend of the market uh, moving on really, really well. Uh, still in the Dow uh, long trade at the moment and DAX nearly uh, at target as well. Just move very quickly to the DAX, uh, just pushing up quite aggressively again today. Uh, but here we are on the DAX moving up nicely. I'd like to see prices push up to around that sort of 97 50 zone uh, so we've got about another 75 points or so to go uh, at least uh, on that DAX trade moving nicely and certainly in the right direction there so indices having a really good barnstorming couple of weeks there uh, picking up some decent uh, profits there uh, moving through to some of those other markets the yen pairs we've been talking about recently and they, yeah, pretty much all of them have done their sort of 20 point sort of 60 point move but they're pushing a little bit further in line with those monthly trends as well. So at the moment, uh, we're long from 139.48, uh, up about 130 points or so uh, on the uh, euro yen. As I move through to sterling yen as well, that's pushing up nicely higher as well for from 167.70. Uh, we're currently up about 300 points on sterling yen at the moment. Finding quite a bit of resistance here. Don't mind if you've got quite a few different yen trades on. Don't mind notching a little bit of profit and just reducing a little bit of risk there. Uh, but otherwise, we're still looking for uh, higher prices uh, on sterling yen. Certainly trying to find a bit of support, struggling to move below that 169.95, 160, uh, 170 area. That's for sure over the last week or so. Moving through to a couple of other markets, really, uh, that we're in, keeping to uh, the currencies for now, uh, Euro-Dollar. Uh, we had a buy on Euro-Dollar here uh, in line with the uptrend. No sniper on this one, but that's fine because the trend's up. The trend's positive. And so for 136.31, we're now currently trading at 137.60. Uh, so the market's up about uh, 130 points uh, since we bought uh, that market there. Target-wise, we're literally just going to notch them around this sort of zone here, 137.75. So we're not looking for much more. Just nearly got there mid last week, but we're just looking for a squeeze higher in order to take profits on that dollar yen trade up at that resistance level there. Markets may well push further higher than that, but I think this, these pivot points at this stage uh, are good areas to look to take those profits there. So that's moving nicely. And then as I look through finally uh, to a market, Rather than leaving you on a high, I'm going to leave you on a market which is just going a little bit sideways. We're still short from 143.57. Uh, it's currently trading 143.63. It's gone absolutely nowhere. Uh, so we're still looking for that 60 point fall. So we're looking for just shy of 143 double O's, um, just lower than that, um, and just sitting there playing a bit of a waiting game at the moment on the Bund. The fact that it's gone against us for the first few days, I don't worry about that. Uh, we're set, we forget, and we'll see what happens with the trade over the next coming days. Uh, but we need to push down to about here. Uh, in order to give us our profit on that trade there. All in all, daily charts continue to perform really well. Uh, the one thing perhaps I might say is not that many trades over the last week, uh, but the ones that we have been trading have been going really, really nicely. Um, so pushing towards the end of February now. Uh, can't believe it's then already, uh, but have a good rest of the week, everybody, and we'll be back with you uh, at the beginning of March uh, for the next trades of the week. Catch you soon. Bye-bye. If you would like more information about trading the right way, TrendSignal is giving you the opportunity to see and hear about its services live at a free online seminar. Take a look at the TrendSignal website for the latest events and to book your free place.